Happy Sunday, Stitchers. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Stitch Rip. It's one of my absolute favorite tools, a must-have. I keep it with me always in this. It comes actually in this handy little plastic container, um, and I keep all my other little necessary must-have tools in there, so it gets a little stuff sometimes. But if you just tap it once or twice, usually against your hand, you can get it to come out pretty easily there. So with this tool, you want to be careful. It is very sharp. Another tool I want to talk about are Uncle Bill's tweezers. I love them. They're small, they're compact, and they do exactly what you need them to do. So don't worry, little Santa. I am just going to perform some quick open heart surgery here. <laughs> Nothing quite so intense. So you're going to take the stitch ripper and put it, use it as though you had a cat's claw facing downward and just gently insert it underneath one of your stitches and work downward. The trick here with this tool is to just go slow and just be very careful and work yourself under these stitches and then rip down and out away from the canvas. The biggest fear that most people have when they're ripping stitches is, oh no, what happens if I rip my canvas? And you know what? It happens. But you know what else? It's absolutely fixable. You will never know that it happened. And we can talk about that in another video. But for now, just go at it fearlessly. Be careful, be respectful of the work that you've put in, but also don't delay in doing what is gonna make you feel the happiest about your piece. And we all know that sitting with stitches that you can't stand in a piece is going to make you miserable. So uh, sometimes it helps to flip the canvas over and work from the back as you're ripping as well. Um, but for now, we're just gonna see what we can get here with the front. And then I'm gonna take my Uncle Bill's tweezers and just gently remove all of these little pieces. These tweezers are great. I think they're about 12 bucks and they're just worth every penny. And the thing I love par partially about that case is that it, it holds everything, including these tweezers. And it makes it tight enough that it doesn't just fall right out and cut your hand. So those are great advantages. And then look, We've got him all plucked out, all plucked out, no holes, no rips. Oh my goodness, so exciting. So for those of you who aren't familiar with this canvas, this is one of the Cowboy Santas. This particular Cowboy Santa is by the Danji Collection. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's a little peculiar. His coat is blue, but uh, he's just been something that's held my heart for a really long time, and I've really, really enjoyed stitching him. So if you guys are looking for other Cowboy Santas, you can find some on our website, and the link is below. All right, so we are all done ripping and plucking, and in the process of all of that, I did manage to... Uh, displace one of the nearby fibers. So I'm actually going to take a tool called the Snag Nabbit, which is a handy little tool by Dritz. Uh, you can find it at any uh, Michael's, Joann's, or even Amazon. And I'm going to pierce that fiber down into the hole that I want it to go in and just twist, 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 wiggle, wiggle, and pop that fiber back in place. And well, how to do, Santa? Mm -hmm. 